Adding Volume to Baked Goods, Aeration. Welcome to this training module designed to educate baking industry professionals on the science of aeration or more simply how to formulate with air to add volume to baked goods. These are good examples of baked goods. We have cake, muffins, and other items made with egg products. When adding volume to baked goods such as these, we can formulate with a variety of egg products. These include liquid egg whites, liquid whole eggs, and liquid egg yolks. We can also include in those formulations spray dried egg products. These would include high whip spray dried egg whites or spray dried whole eggs or spray dried yolks. See, there are two highly economical additives that product developers seek out when formulating foods. The first is water, and even though water entering a food facility or bakery is most likely metered and paid for, compared to other ingredients, the price is insignificant. The other ingredient is air, which is free. Aeration refers to the process of introducing a gas, such as air, into a liquid or viscous solution. This is accomplished by circulating or dissolving the mixing the gas into solution. You might be asking the question, how can you add something can, that cannot be seen or measured? The reality is that with some gases, such as carbon dioxide, which is used to add bubbles to many soft drinks, usage can be measured. Such gases come in tanks of all sizes and metering devices measure the amounts expelled. However, with free-flowing air, which is the air that you and I breathe, usage is impossible to measure. However, usage in food products becomes apparent in the end result. Baked foods have certain texture attributes based on product type. For instance, the texture of a pound cake is much more dense than a sponge cake. Beaten eggs contribute to the volume and lighter texture of sponge cakes. The aeration achieved in lighter textured foods can it be attributed to eggs, specifically whole eggs and egg whites. Here you can see that the air simply floats to the top of water. In the egg white, it becomes trapped and creates a foam. When air is incorporated into a food, a foam forms, which is basically entrapped air bubbles. That foam influences the height and density of a food, both which are measurable parameters. Though the term foam technically refers to any system where there are entrapped air bubbles, in the baking industry, the term tends to be exclusive to egg white foams. This is because egg white, unlike any natural food ingredient, are able to create the largest possible foams. In fact, egg whites can be whipped to produce a foam that is six to eight times greater in volume than unwhipped, non-aerated, liquid egg white. Because egg whites' extraordinary ability to create massive food foams, an entire separate training module is dedicated to creating egg white foams. But let's not discount the power of whole eggs when it comes to building foam volume in baked goods. When whole eggs are whipped and used to aerate baked goods, the process is more accurately referred to as leavening. And in the baking industry, eggs are a critical leavening agent in many recipes along with other leavening agents such as yeast, baking soda, and baking powder. Understanding the protein in eggs. To understand how egg products, whole eggs, and egg whites leaven baked goods, it is essential to understand their varying protein composition, as it is the protein that is responsible for entrapping air. Here is an illustration of whole egg showing the egg yolk and egg white. This is a table showing the composition of whole eggs and whites on a solids basis. On a solids basis, whole eggs are about 50% protein and 40% fat. 
Whites are almost all protein, whereas yolks are about half fat and about one-third protein, with there being more than 40 different egg proteins in a whole egg, some unique to the egg white and others unique to the yolk. It is no wonder that there are variations in how whole eggs, whites, and yolk entrap air and create volume in baked goods. Each contain a different whipped egg product, whole egg, yolk only, and white only. This graph shows the increase in height of liquid egg product after being whipped. These differences lie in the fact that egg yolks barely contain any of the powerhouse foaming producing and stabilizing proteins found in egg whites such as conalbumin, globulins, and ovalbumin, as well as ovomucin. To learn more about how these proteins create foams, please view the egg white foam training module. The protein in yolks is almost all lipoprotein, and as with most proteins, lipoproteins can entrap air, just not as notably as the proteins found in egg whites. Lipoproteins are better suited for emulsification. We've been talking about egg proteins entrapping air in baked goods, but we have not discussed how air even gets into the batter or the dough. Here we are preparing a simple, quick bread. There are four potential sources of air for egg products to entrap, and thus volume to bake goods. For example, let's look at quick bread formula. First, air is incorporated into the batter during mixing, as well as through the addition of beating the whole eggs. Further, the added baking powder and baking soda produce gas in the batter. Finally, during baking, the heat of the oven causes the air bubbles entrapped in the mixture to expand and the proteins set the final structure. This is what proteins aligning around air bubbles look like. The proteins in flour and the beaten whole egg heat and swell during baking. Eventually, the proteins coagulate, align themselves with the gas bubbles and bond to each other, solidifying the quick bread structure. Let's take a step back to better understand the air added through the addition of beating whole egg. When eggs are beaten or whipped, air is added and the proteins in the eggs become denatured or simply they unfold. This exposes two oppositely charged ends of the protein molecule the hydrophobic or water-hating end, and the hydrophilic or water-loving ends. The protein align themselves between the air and the water, forming bubbles, with their hydrophilic chains pointing to the water and changing their hydrophobic chains to the air. Further, during baking, these proteins bond with each other, forming a delicate yet reinforced network that strengthens the baked goods, enabling them to maintain volume. The ability of liquid egg to entrap air bubbles depends on its viscosity and on a low air-liquid interfacial tension. The viscosity of all egg products is ideal for incorporating air cells during whipping or the beating process. Protein denaturation at the air-liquid interface adds structural strength to the cell walls and simultaneously reduces interfacial tension. Depending upon the application and the amount of aeration needed, bakers may find that whole eggs and or whites are the best choice. Sometimes a formulation requires different egg products and they are added to the recipe at different times depending upon the desired end result. Thank you for viewing this training module on the aeration of baked goods. To learn more about the aeration powers unique to egg whites, please view the training module entitled Creating Egg White Foams.